Hi, I'm Rachel Hayes, and we're back with Coach Haymore for Coach's Corner. So, Coach, you had a win Thursday night. What was the difference from this week and the week before with your terrible loss to Woodgrove? <laughs> Good adjective. Um, we had fun. You know, the kids, they, they fed off each other's energy, and they just played fast. I mean, they, they when they, somebody made a big play, um, they fed off of, of that, and uh, they started to do all these little hand signals and whatever else. And I think we actually got a celebration penalty, which I was excited about. Uh, it showed that we got excited about a football play. So. Wow. Good. So what was the final score of the game? 61-12. Yeah. Um, and we haven't really talked about the special teams yet. Um, what would you – how do they add an element of success to the Pioneers this year? Um, how do they add an element? Well – you can catch a lot of teams off guard. A lot of teams don't practice special teams. Mm -hmm. uh, they might do it, you know, on Thursday or one time for one or two snaps a week. Um, we practice it now. I don't practice, it, you know, as much as offense and defense, but uh, we do practice it for about five or ten minutes. When, you know, punt and field goal and things like that. We practice for a total of about fifteen minutes a week. Um, you know, because that's points, and if you get a punt blocked, it's likely you're yeah. going to lose the game. <laughs> but um, you know, I think we do a good job. Our special teams coordinator does a good job of having the kids organized. They play fast. They don't have to think. We do very simple stuff on on special teams so that they can uh, they can play fast. But also, I think we got some guys that just like on offense and defense, we got some guys that can make some plays uh, with speed. When you have that on on special teams, also it kind of it helps you change the ends of into into the field. So yeah. So I mean, your team is really they know how to work together now because mm -hmm. they've gotten. So many points in last game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the loss to Woodgrove, I think, has brought the kids together to be able to be a, more of a team. Uh, you know, and when you when you face adversity like that, and you and you face a loss like that, I think that really brings out the character of everybody. And through practice last week, everybody really, you didn't have a lot of time to think because we had a game on Thursday as opposed to Friday. So I think we really we honed in on what we needed to do, which was really have fun, and we came together as a team, which was good. So what do you expect um, that will happen at Skyline this Friday? How do you plan to walk away with another win? Uh, playing fast, playing hard. Uh, I think if we play with that same intensity that we played against with Rock Ridge, I think we'll walk away with it. Uh, I don't know what the score will be, but, I mean, it'll give us a chance. You know, let me rephrase that. It'll give us a chance to, to be in the ballgame. Uh, they're a good football team. they got a good quarterback. they got a couple good receivers. Their defense is always sound. Uh, they're well coached down there. Uh, Coach Gilbert does do a gr really good job of getting those guys ready. Um, it's going to be a physical game. It's the first district game, and and like I said, whether how good Skyline is, how good we are, how bad vice versa, and all that, both teams are going to be ready to play each other. Um, you know, we want the district title, and they want the same thing. So it's going to they're going to be well prepared and ready for the game, and so are we. All right. Well, as we get ready to wrap up today's edition, is there anything else you would like to add? We have a home game for the JVs against Skyline on Wednesday at. 6 o'clock, and then our game is Friday at 7 o'clock. And we're still working on a theme, but I'll probably post that on Twitter or, or something like that before the end of the week. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Coach Haymore. This has been Coach's Corner, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next week.